Okay guys, so here's a new video. I know I've been making too many of them lately uh, just because I've been uh, rather busy and uh, here's one of the projects that I started working on and this will be a new rack. It's going to hold uh, 41 quart tubs. It'll hold eight of them and then I'll have a cabinet down below to hold all the lids and anything extra because this one will not the, the totes will not hold the lids. Let's take a look at this. One of the things I'm going to do is each tub, uh, each snake will have its own ID card and identification number with photo ID. Uh, this is just the first one I kind of threw together. I'm still going to play around with that. I don't know if I quite like the way it all looks, but it's my start. But uh, Right now I'm working on the uh, back panel uh, that goes that will cover this. Um, what I'm working on is attaching the the flex watt heat. Um, I'm going to use a single piece running down the back as opposed to each shelf having its own unit. And that's what I'm working on now over here. Um, I got the piece here laid out on here and then I use staples to tack it down. Now, something important you don't put the staples in this you gotta go to these clear openings and uh, staple there you don't want to staple in this and then got my cord here a uh, little bit of this will protrude down into the cabinet um, let's go back over to the shelf and look at what I've done um, you can see I've got a gap here uh, that plywood will rest on this outside so I have this gap here that's where the flex watt will run about the middle of the shelf it's gonna go all the way down I left this open uh, what I want to do is then run my electrical under this shelf to the front okay somewhere right here in the front is where I'm going to attach uh, for right now I'm going to just use a dimmer switch to control the heat um, eventually I will, will upgrade that um, but for now that's what I'll be using and I'm gonna create some kind of uh, uh, my control panel here where all this will be at um, my controller and then I'll probably have two thermometers that run across here and attach so that way I can get uh, maybe like this one here will read low on the heat tape and this one here will read higher up on the heat tape that way I can kind of get an idea of uh, the temperature grade that's going on between each of the layers um, this just uh, just to show you what I've got done now and uh, we'll cut in here and uh, show you the progression so stay tuned okay so here's the unit with the back on solid back and you see where I screwed it on um, now if you didn't understand my ramblings before now you can see there's the the flex watt heat unit there it runs all the way down the back for each shelf and uh, I will put sides on so this will be completely enclosed what's gonna happen we'll go to the shelf this is gonna heat and the heat's gonna uh, come out from this way hopefully and uh, is with as long as this tub is I should get a nice heat gradient where in the back I should be able to uh, get my higher end temps that I want and then up here at the front uh, will be my lower end temps uh, the tub is uh, approximately three feet long so you know there's a lot of space in there for them uh, yeah not a lot of height uh, but they're snakes if you think about it they're always hiding under things and cramped into stuff anyway so it's kind of what they like but here's a long shot down there you can kind of see um, I was rambling a little bit ago about no lids uh, if you remember seeing my colubrid rack uh, those tubs have the lids on them uh, but this rack will be without lids uh, mostly due to the fact they'll be a whole lot easier to feed the snakes feeding time will be a whole lot easier I won't have to pull this whole tub out uh, just to feed the snakes. That's what I have to do with the clue birds, but uh, I will be changing that rack as well. And at the very top, as you see I forgot to paint a board, but oh uh, well. Uh, the heat tape goes almost clear to the top there. 
and uh, you know it runs all the way down all my racks and uh, well we're gonna have to reposition uh, okay and there's where it comes down now this piece here will be inside the cabinet uh, what I want to do as you can see my plug uh, let me grab it I'm going to attach it to where it runs along the top and then the plug uh, let's get on the camera there we go the plug will then plug into the back of uh, a dimmer switch and uh, that's how that's going to work so okay so here's the cabinet it's about 98 percent done i just gotta finish painting it and i have to put on make a door for this opening that's the cabinet down below and you can see i got the dimmer switch mounted in into the the cabinet itself uh, and then we'll take a look down here let's turn on this light okay this brown plug connects into the back of the dimmer switch this plug obviously uh, what I showed you earlier comes off the heat tape that's coming down back there at the very back gotta yeah, let's wait for that to zoom in there we go uh, just got a hook there to latch it on to hold it up and above and then the other brown cable goes out the back and that's where it will be plugged into the wall at and then I got another hook that will hold that up there and out of sight but yeah I just wanted to show you it real quick before I get it painted just kind of uh, what it looks like but my sides are on and uh, yeah so We'll leave it there and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's painted. Okay folks, so here's the unit completely painted. Like I said, I'm going to I'm gonna build a door for that a little bit later. For now, I'm just going to leave it that way so I can move it in into the house and get it used. There you can see the, the flex watt back there, but there's, there it is all painted. I'll get a new one of them. We'll either get a black one or we'll paint that black. But So let's get it moved inside. Okay, so there's the unit and it's a uh, placement for now. Um, I would like to have it pushed back in that corner, but uh, there's something there in the way but for now it will sit here and uh, see I got a few tubs in there that's yeah, gonna be dark because of the window anyways there's the there's the shelf the cabinet down below got the extra lids in there and I need to go pick up a, a few more totes and uh, she'll be operational I'll get the the flex watt turned on and We'll start regulating those temps and, and see how they hold out before we place any animals in the rack. But for now, uh, no, that's it for now. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give the old thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, s stay tuned for the next one. There will be new animals coming at the end of the week. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to tell you what they are just yet. So you have to watch, wait and watch for the video. Later.